All right, good morning. Moving right along. My name is Blasita Lopez. I am the director of the Laredo Convention and Visitors Bureau, and it is my pleasure to be here with you today. And those of you that are maybe from close by or a little bit further away, officially give you your welcome to Laredo. So welcome to Laredo, Texas, and the beautiful campus of Texas A&M International University. Um, so, as um, John was saying when he opened his presentation, we had thought landowners and then photographers. So I'm going to do my very best. The one you're going to see is geared towards our landowners, but I'll sprinkle in the things that were meant for our photographers as well as we go along here. So, so landowners, as John said, you have the product that we will be selling. And the Laredo Convention and Visitors Bureau basically is an industry known as a destination marketing organization. So we, our job is to be out there um, selling Laredo for people to come into and visit and of course spend the night, eat in our restaurants, shop in our shops and our, sh and our place different retail sector areas. And so that's our job, that's what we do, we're out there selling it to various different markets right now. We have leisure markets, group markets, we have two different products, one that's a U.S. product, one that's a Mexican product. We market in both countries. And so we're out there already selling it. So this is just another component that we're going to add to our sales pitch. So for our landowners, the CBB will be your connection to photographers and the tour operators that are photography tour operators out there. Out there. We'll know their product offerings, what their group needs are, <clears throat> and we'll be able to put them in contact with you and sort of be the intermediary. And that's our job. We don't look to be able to make money off of that. That's what we're going to do. We're going to be the link between the two. For our photographers, those of you that are looking to, to either be a photographer on a private land or perhaps you have a group, we'll know what our area's assets are. We will know what the tourism product is, what the landowner has to offer, what kind of facilities as far as what types of wildlife you'll find there, what types of facilities that they have, how many people perhaps they could accommodate on their particular ranch, on their particular area that they will be featuring in this type of business. And for the tour operator, in addition to that, we will be able to offer you as a Convention and Visitors Bureau, we have something called group services or convention services. And it doesn't matter what size of group you have, we still have something to help you with your group. If you're a tour operator and you have a photo tour group that you want to bring to one of the ranches, we can perhaps offer you a little welcoming reception or a little welcoming um, merienda, as they say here, a little afternoon deal with some coffee and some pan dulce and things like that, just to give it a nice added touch. If you're, if you're bringing a group in, we can offer you very simple things like name badges, welcoming packets with information that talks about our area and what our area has to offer. We can provide hotel accommodation assistance, help you if you're looking for a hotel that's close to that particular ranch or how long does it take to get from hotel A out to ranch B. We can help you figure all of that out. So that's what we're there to do and that, those are the basic services that we offer any group that comes into our community. So, moving on to the marketing message here. The Laredo CVB is funded by hotel occupancy taxes, and therefore, we're mandated to spend a good amount of that money on advertising. And right now, in our current budget, it's a tough budget year for us. We had a little bit more money last year and the year before that than we did this year. But we do spend right now approximately a million dollars in advertising, and that's paid purchase advertising in the U.S. and Mexico. Aside from that, we get a little bit of added value here and there, and we try to make deals, you know, cut me this many spots for this much investment. So we try to add on to that particular value, but this is how much we actually invest in what we're doing right now. Nature, tourism, that's something that's new and evolving for us. I don't have a perfect recipe to tell you about today that we're going to market it exactly like this, and I have, you know, the... The, the marketing plan already set up, and these are all the trade publications that we're going to go to, and these are all the trade shows that we're going to go to. This is very much very new for us, and our partners in it, Texas Ag Extension, ICF, our photographers, our bird watchers, all of those stakeholders will 
I mean, hopefully give me feedback, and they'll say, this is where we think you need to be so that you can capture this audience and make sure that, you're, that the audience knows, the audience you're trying to reach knows what your message is. Um, for the first year, we went out to Nampa. We partnered with ICF at a booth there, the North American Nature Photographers Association, their national conference, and that was the first trade show of that particular kind where we had a presence and pitched what Laredo in the future would have to offer and clearly that we were offering the Pro Tour in this particular calendar year. So those are the kinds of things that we will be actively building on, learning how to do. So today I don't actually have a plan per se that I'm going to reach your audience, your target audience through this particular avenue. But as I said, through our partnerships that we're building in this process, we hope to be able to find that audience and invest in that particular audience. And clearly, I have a budget cycle every year that's approved by the mayor and the city council. So I'm going to go up there and I'm going to pitch for more money, So as, as is the typical process. And so I hope to be able to get a little bit more funding to be able to invest in this. And I think I have some good support among the mayor and the, and the council, and I think we'll be able to achieve that this year. So anyhow, it'll be a combination of print, electronic media, trade show outreach, and then on top of that, the CVB here, the Laredo CVB, we build two programs. One that we currently have that, that just started on Wednesday night is actually finishing up today, and that's the 2010 Laredo Birding Festival, where this year we combined birding field trips with photography field trips, and we sent them out simultaneously this year to some of the private landowners that we had already developed a relationship with that were willing to be set up for those activities this particular year. So that's another type of event where we hope to market that event to capture the audience and give them a very specific, if you will, conference itinerary that will build this nature tourism um, product for us, for all of us. And it's a good vehicle for all of us to be able to see how it works, where do we send people? How do we organize the logistics for that kind of thing? And so it's been, a, it's been a very good event this year. I think logistically we did really well. We just had very low turnout. So we're looking forward to 2011 where we're going to build a birding festival on its own, and then we'll have a nature photography all on its own as well next year. So we're going to have those two events that we will build around the industry. So that pretty much wraps it up. Um, this is my contact information. I also want to thank Texas A&M International, Images for Conservation Fund, Laredo Community College, of course, my mayor, Raul G. Salinas, and the Laredo um, City Council for their support, my city manager's office, kudos to my boss. She's been very supportive of us as well. Laredo Community College and our critical stakeholders right now, which are the landowners. We have built a few relationships. We're looking forward to building more relationships with our landowners out there that have an interest in being open for business for this particular product. And we're going to build that. Like I said, we're committed to it. It's going to be in our long-term plan, and we're moving forward with it. This year, I'd like to thank the owners, the landowners of Pescaditos, Los Lazos, La Mesa, Riverside, and Los Hermanos, and of course to Miles and his staff for helping us out with that as well. And um, that pretty much wraps up my presentation, short and sweet and to the point. So thank you very much for your time and your attention. Oh, okay. Miles says I have time for questions. Does anybody have any thoughts, any questions for me at this particular time? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Sure, that's a good question. I don't know if everybody heard it. I'll just repeat it for the benefit of everyone that may or may not be within um, hearing range. She said she's not from this area, but does the CBB information that I presented, does the Convention and Visitors Bureau in another area of the state do primarily what we do? And the answer is yes. The Convention and Visitors Bureau is across the state. We have a really great network um, through the Texas Association of Convention and Visitors Bureaus, and all of them, for the most part, big or small, facilitate bringing in business the way that we would. So thank you very much for your question.